Hey YouTube, it's Rachie. Um, I thought I'd just update you on the consultation that I had yesterday with Aveda. So I went down to the Covent Garden um, salon and spoke with the same receptionist that um, spoke to me last time. And the stylist, Carl, who was supposed to um, see me last time was there. So I had my consultation. Poor Carl had lost his voice. So he was like trying to talk to me and like whisper at the same time. It's so funny. So we went into the salon. I asked if I could film. Um, I asked the head office and they said no, but they have offered me a 30% discount. Whoop, whoop. So <laughs> I'll be getting 30% off of my color, which is a plus. Um, so I went to the area where they do the consultations. The salon inside, like I said, is very nice. It's very professional looking. Um, it's not just a hair salon. They do nails and facials and they have a cafe in there as well. It's really nice. I wish I could have filmed it. But um, yeah, so I sp sat down and spoke to Carl and he was going through what kind of colour I want. So initially I wanted a burgundy red, like I said before, like a deep red. And he brought out some swatches, which I thought were, there was like a, a reel of swatches. So we we're going through those and um, he showed me what the burgundy would look like. And I wasn't too sure about it because it wasn't what I had pictured in my mind. So he said, maybe a copper brown. So when I saw the copper brown, I was sold. I was like, yeah, the copper brown, definitely. I like that color. That's what I'm going to use. So we decided to do a copper brown. Um... It's just going to be the top, like I said before, so the middle bit, sorry, my hair is like frizzed. This is going to get washed tomorrow or Monday, but um, the top is frizzy, but this is like an old band too, not out. So um, yeah, it's the same one that I had in the other video, last week quite a while. Anyway, so um, yeah, we decided to do a copper brown. He said to me, um, it's going to be a permanent colour, but just because my hair is jet black, for it to actually take, it would have to be a permanent colour. Um, they was going to do a rinse, but they don't think the rinse would take. And I didn't think the rinse would take either, sorry. So we decided to do a permanent colour. Um, so I booked my appointment for Monday. But the only thing is, Carl, who I spoke to, won't be in on Monday. So I don't know if I should cancel my appointment and wait until he's free. Because he is the person I had the consultation with. And just I might just do that because I feel like if I spoke to him and he knows what I want... It's better to work with him than have me passed on to somebody else. So I think I am going to wait for when Carl's free because there's no rush. So um, he was talking about how he's going to do different tones of brown. It's not going to be just one block colour. It's going to be um, different tones. The bottom will be dark. But it will... I don't know if he's going to do it so it fades in. But he said it's not going to be one tone. So I'm very excited to see how it comes out. I will do a video of before and after. I tried to film outside yesterday, but it wasn't working. It was too loud, so I decided to film today. So just a little bit of an update. I had a better um, experience than before. Not saying it was a negative experience before, but yeah, I got the result that I wanted. I got to spoke to, got to speak to somebody regarding my hair color. So I'll be going copper brown. I'm really excited. Um, I will be keeping you lot posted and. You know how I'm camera happy, so you'll see photos. But yeah, stay tuned for my colour and my experience at the salon. So yeah, bye.